Hi, I'm Vicki Hoth from Handy Quilter. Congratulations, you are the proud owner of an HQ electromagnetic channel lock system. So let's get started and show you how to install this. The first thing, as you open up the box, you're going to see the user manual. Open it up. Let's use the user manual today to install this onto our machine. And the uh, machine that we're installing it on is an Avante, and this system that I have here on the table today is an Avante, or a system for the Avante. If you have a Fusion, you'll need to order the system for the Fusion. So, let's get started. Let's open this manual and let's go through the parts and see what parts there are that go to install this today. The first part here on the list, number one, is the carriage frame system and this is for the X axis. The, uh, this is the carriage frame system for the Y and then there's just a little uh, zip tie right here and you'll see later on how, where to put that. This is the wire guide and the 1 4th inch screw and washer. The switch box. This is the machine plate and this goes on the machine. These are the two self-tapping uh, extra for troubleshooting. You'll have six steel plates. You'll have a power cord and a power cord or a power supply. Two cable clips, a cable twist lock, Velcro strips, and there are two plastic shims and those are for troubleshooting. Then the tools required is a two and a half hex tool and a four millimeter hex tool. You will need a tape measure and a flat head screwdriver and I like to have a Sharpie marker. So now that we know all the parts are here, let's start installing it on our machine and carriage. The first thing you wanna do is take your carriage off of your frame, unplug it from your machine, the encoder, and you're gonna take your tape measure and you're going to measure on this side. So here's your encoder. You're gonna measure on this side. So that would be the right side from where the encoder is. You're going to measure this and find the halfway mark. And this carriage is 33 inches, and so the halfway mark on that is 16 and a half. And with that, you want to take a marker, and you want to mark just a little line right there, okay? So we want to find that halfway mark. Now that I've marked my carriage, I want to get the X carriage system and you want to make sure this cable is going out this direction and this is your encoder you want it on this side so the opposite side so I'm going to go ahead open this up take your two and a half millimeter uh, hex screw and loosen those and so that these are loose and you can slide this under here and these will lift up and then this will slide under and this will lift up and you want to just slide that all the way over right to that side and then with your two and a half millimeter hex you're going to tighten that up and we'll go over here do the same thing okay that's tight now we have this cable right here we're going to bring in our Y and before we attach this to the carriage we're going to go ahead and plug this in so this part here needs to be up, that little key there, and we're going to plug it in right there. Snap that in. And then lay this down in here between that channel. And then with my zip tie, I'm going to tie these two together. Tighten those in there, and then with a pair of scissors, we'll just cut off that extra, extra tail there. So we're going to go ahead and take this and align it up. You want your 
arrow to align with the line, that, the dot that you put on your carriage. We're going to slide that under there, make sure that our wires are not in the way, and put the clips on. Make sure those clips are on. They're both on. And then on the back side, we want to make sure that you can see that that clipped into there. Okay, now that the clips are on, we're going to go ahead and tighten those clips down. But remember, we need to line that up. So slide that, line up your arrow, tighten those up. And there we are, we have that installed. Next, tip your carriage up on its side and get your um, switch box and your power supply cable. And we need to plug this in right here. And it's keyed so it will only go one direction. So we'll plug that in. Then you take this and you plug it in right here. Now we're going to install the wire guide. So you'll need the wire guide and it has the two zip ties on it. And you'll need your four hex and your washer. So first of all, let's take the wire guide and place the cables inside of it. So this just manages those cables and we're going to zip that up and tighten it in there so it'll stay. Now you can trim those ties off so that they're shorter. Okay, now we'll go ahead and turn that over and place that right along there, and it has to slip. These two little tabs need to slip underneath, right underneath there, and align with that hole. And then we'll place our washer on there and our screw. And with your four hex screw driver, you'll go ahead and tighten that up. And this is the back where the encoder is. The next step is to locate the machine steel plate and your two screws. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take that plate and you're going to place it right here on these two spots and take your screws and with a flat head screwdriver, you're going to screw this in to those two spots. Now we've attached both screws and attached the steel plate. Now we need to tip the machine upright and we'll get things set up there. Now we've taken the carriage and placed it on the frame with the encoder to the rear. And we've placed the machine on the carriage. And now the next thing we need to do is we need to take the steel plates and place them onto the frame. So if you'll look at the back of the frame, or the steel plate, you can see there's an adhesive on there. If you peel that off, this will stick to your frame. So when you peel that off on there, take that, take that off and then just turn that over and you'll place that along right where that X um, axis works on the carriage. So you can see this steel plate is attached and you'll put all six of them, if you have a 12-foot frame, you put all six of those along. These are two-foot sections, and if you have a 10-foot frame, then you'll only put five. But you'll go ahead and place those all the way along your, the front. I'm standing at the front of the machine, and this is at the front where the X is running. And you can just see where that's running as I move that machine back. And you'll just butt them up right next to each other and, it, and uh, let them use the adhesive and it just sticks right to your frame, your table. Now take your switch box and your Velcro strips and you'll want to take your Velcro strips and attach it to your switch box and there's plenty, you may need to just cut some of that off and attach, I like to attach the soft side of the Velcro to the switch box and then the Velcro, the other side, I attach back here 
to the uh, to the handles on and it's I like it on the left side because it's out of the thread pathway so attach it here so once you've got those velcro attached and you can set your switch box on there then you need to manage this cord so it, you have some cord managing tools here these are the cord cables and you attach those wherever you want to manage that and I've placed this one up here and then snap that in and then place I've placed this one back here and snap that in there okay and then you're going to come down here and you can use your little twist tie clip to clip the cables together down here if you want we're going to plug this into our power supply and then go ahead and plug this into the wall and then you're ready to use your electromagnetic channel locks.